Hello everybody and welcome to episode 98 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. And as today is the day that the Horde Knight approaches, we've got some interesting preparation to do. Starting with failing to hit that screamer several times. How's the iron looking here? Fine, fine. Alright, had to take a second to sort my inventory there. Once the store's open, we'll do a handful of quests as needed, but... I do have some things that I want to do with the base. Nothing too crazy. Mostly involving giving myself other ways in. Because at some point I'm going to be testing some things against the Horde Knight that aren't just this base. And as it stands, there's clearly death if I try to, in the middle of the Horde Knight, come down here and walk up that ladder to get to my proper resting place for the Horde Knight. So instead I'd like to make a different way in. Potentially in through the side. Hmm. Actually, no, I guess I can just go in through the roof, which is accessible through the back. Never mind me, I'm confused, as per the usual. But I have some plans, some very interesting plans, for a pseudo-horde base that I'd like to try out, potentially test, at the beginning of this horde night. And it involves, first off, punching a few holes over here. I think something like a 5x5 five five square should do to begin. It should be sensible. One. Two, yeah, five by five. And I'm trying to make a five by five square so I can put a nice little tower in the middle of it. And the tower is potentially going to be a temporary horde base that will be used during the... Wait, how many blocks is this? Uh, three, four, five, there we go. But I plan on making multiple temporary pseudo horde bases for the purpose of the Blaze of Glory. Because at some point, I'm sure her royal girthiness will take a lot of damage. And I can either A... Run her royal girthiness straight into the ground by continuing to use her when I don't have enough time to repair, or B, make a couple pseudo horde bases like the one that I'm about to produce, and use those while I spend extra days repairing her royal girthiness. Listen, it all makes sense in my head, I swear. Mm, we'll go ahead and go two blocks down. Doesn't hurt. Best to be cautious, because those demolitionists, the demolishers, their explosions have some insane radius, and apparently there have been plenty of reports of them doing damage to blocks multiple layers through. So for instance, they could potentially hit this dirt here, and the dirt underneath it, this block there. There have been reports of that happening, apparently. So, best to be cautious and go two rows deep for this. Seems like the most sensible idea. Concrete should be fine for now, at least on the ground. I'll be making the layer above this steel. And then the first couple of layers to this tower that I'll be building will... Hmm, should I also make this steel? Hmm. Well, the store is about to open, so I'll think about that later. But I'm going to raise this up to be even with the ground, and then I'm going to make one pillar right here, you see where that block is, and that spot. One pillar is going to go up a absolute boatload, probably about 30 or 40 blocks, we'll see. Then I might surround it with hay too. But the plan is to make it go up, so the zombies will be forced to go up a ladder in a straight line, which in the previous episode I took the time to... Oh, I didn't take the time to. Do I need 10 for this? No, I need 8. There. I'll be taking the time, <laughs> now, to put my levels into this penetrator perk. And then, I'm going to have to produce AP rounds, armor piercing. And even outside of that, the magnum will be able to pierce through zombies as well. The plan is to put them on a ladder, so they'll be in a nice straight line for me to shoot down with this. It's gonna be a good time. A very good time. And if it proves to be insanely effective, and I need even more ammo preservation ability, I will swap out the M60 for a sniper rifle, or whatever the next equivalent is in rifles. What is... The next. Not machine guns, rifles, lever action, sniper. Wow, I can't even craft it. I guess I didn't get enough of the books. Wait, hmm, what exactly would be the perk for that? Deadshot? Interesting. This one doesn't say anything about increasing the amount of ammo found. Oh, never mind. None of them do. Does that mean that if I put points into dead eye, I'll, I'll get even more 762 ammo? Oh no. Oh, actually, before you, Jen, I have other things to check, like the vending machines. Atom junkies. That could be useful. <laughs> I love hearing my turrets just pop off in the distance. More Mega Crush? Thank you. All right. This is good. I can sell the magnum back to her. Here, Jen, have a magnum. Fest to clear 600 meters away. Oh. Is there a nearby one? Kilometers? <laughs> 600 meter one is basically the only one that isn't over a kilometer. So be it, off to the Taylor Manor. Gives me an opportunity to get my sea legs back with the gyrocopter. I haven't ridden it since it blew up. Let's get it. Ah, my inventory is plenty empty. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we do this, and we hit shift. Is that right? Shift to go up, 
Yes. And we have liftoff. Oh, God. Why am I still going up? <laughs> Driving these things is horrible. At least it's fast. That's a plus. Oh, there's that bug bird Kinnear place that I raided prior. Oh, we're almost there. Time to start the landing process. Oh, God. No, oh, right into the trees. Right into the trees. Oh, that's a shed. Mm. These things happen. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. I would know it's happening to me. Okay, that's that's the corner. Let's see if we can back this thing up. Come on. Little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Yeah. Let's go down this hill. Now we go up and turn to the right. Turn. Yeah, there we go. Nope, nope. Why are you turning left? What's going on? Oh, God, I'm skidding. Okay, I'm going to dismount that thing. <laughs> I'll get back on it when I'm done. What was that? Oh, that's not in the right slot. Nope. Switch. Switch. There you go. All right, I read these books. I'm very confused, apparently. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing. Mmm, yummy. Vehicular entities. Wait, have we done this? I think we have. Yes, we have. Great. Well, we'll tear right through it. Probably. I'm sure we would if I actually remembered anything about the POI other than that we've done it. Like when you recognize a person you've spoken to a lot, but you never seem to remember their name. All right, through the front door, like we do. That is quite the greeting party, isn't it? Ooh, cloth. Ray. Mm, I see the basement. But well, let's get the rest of the POI first. There seems to be a pattern with... Why is there trash being guarded? You know what? You can keep it. You can keep that iron in that trash. Surrounded. I don't want it anyway. Your trash. Mm, cloth. There seems to be a pattern with going into basements and them leading outside of the POI or into different areas. So we'll be doing basements last from now on. What are you guys doing in there? Bunch of weirdos in the bathroom? Come on now. Oh, relax, chief. Easy peasy. Suppose well, I'll take the cloth. Hmm, bookshelf. And nothing of great worth inside of them. Too bad. However, hmm, cloth. Roughly five per window, nothing amazing. Uh, maybe two per window. It's variable. Very variable. The beds, however, always worth it. It's almost a, ooh, a safe. Not so safe now, are you? The answer is no. It, it's not. It's not safe anymore. Hmm. It appears as though the second floor didn't have too much going on, which means all the action will be down in the basement. So, let's go to where the action is. Where, where's the, where's the action? Is that, I forgot where the basement, oh, never mind. No, I didn't. I didn't forget anything. Coming for Ooh, another safe. At some point, they're gonna have to rename what these are, because safe is not it. Workbench, hmm. Where is the big hoard? Well, there's a lot of bones here. For free. Hey, right, don't you dare. No spitting allowed. Not okay. Mm, bandit armor. Do I need any more of that? Sure, I ask this every time I come across one. That's because they're relatively rare. No, I have bandit armor on everything. Drop it. Ah, that's right. It's this place. Now I remember. Let's see if we can handle it with our ass. Surprisingly, the answer was yes. I managed to eliminate every single one of them with my ass. Oop, that's... that's a gun. It's not what you use to crack open boxes. Unless you're a savage. In which case, well, continue on. More rad remo re removers. Rad remover. Oh, my inventory's full. Let's grab this. No, I did take vitamins. I don't need that. Like, ever. Really. It's for fatigue, which doesn't happen when you're so ridiculously fit like I am. By that, I mean I just grinded a bunch of XP. Undeservedly. Shotgun parts. Bunch of crap. Why? Wait, barrel extender. Hmm. I don't think I need it, but also... Whatever. Doesn't hurt to have. But it also doesn't hurt to have is space. Robot, take more crap. I have gotten quite the collection of engines at this point. I need even more. More space. I'll take the Mega Crush and the full stacks of it. That should do. Again, lockpicks inside of a chest. Very confusing. Oh, I almost missed a box. Well, it was just Shamway, so wouldn't have been much of a loss. Upsy daisy. Time to get out of here. Just collect a handful of things on my way back, because, well, they're there. Just left click away. Might as well. I'm being forced to run back through the POI. I missed that one. Hey, there you go. Now back to the Harley. 
Where, where's my Harley? Here we go. Oh, right. I didn't bring the Harley, did I? Oh, no. I brought this thing. Well, here goes liftoff attempt number one. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. And we have liftoff. You know, this is a fairly large town, all things considered. I think in the actual game terms, it would be considered, what, a smedium? <laughs> smedium? <laughs> My brain wanted to say small and medium at the same time. It, it seems like a medium town. They have classifications, I believe, for large, medium, and small. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that even in the gyrocopter, you can hold the turbo button to go faster. See if we can stick the landing. I hit the poster that was flying in the sky. Oh, God, here we go. I'm, um, a professional, I swear. Let's, uh, pretend none of that ever happened. Jed, my gyrocopter took damage because of that quest. Reward me. Book. Stun baton. Stun baton. A tier 6 stun baton isn't even worth as much as a tier 4 steel ass. Isn't that too bad? I'll take the ass, and I'll sell it back to you. Here you go, Jed. That's all you. Hmm. You know what? I think I want to do a bit of building instead of questing today. I'll clear my inventory out, get some building resources, and in preparation for the Horde Knight, I might even attempt to use my theorized ladder base. But wait. What? Hold on. Why is this? That was down. Why was that down? I never close it. Was it you, Jimmy? Are you plotting against me? Suppose I can forgive a little bit of plotting every now and again. He does live a boring, boring little plant life. Suppose we should take the time to clear the robot's inventory as well, and then, before we even do anything else, I should fill the robot's inventory with the necessary Horde Knight materials. The explosives. These explosives. But of course, one thing at a time. The oh shit's drops can go in here because they're horde base materials. Alright, Shirley, what did I put on you? Engines and the like. We'll just hit take all and then put the food back. Like so. Damn, this engine chest is getting real full of, well, engines. Durr. Which is good. I mean, how many are... What is this? This is eight per row... Four rows, 32 engines, not bad. That takes a total of six to power one generator completely. Oh, I hear a screamer. I don't know how, <laughs> how long she survived out there, but I heard her grumble for a second before the turret absolutely wasted her. All right, it's enough messing around with this stuff. We need, hmm, steel. We'll take two stacks for now. We don't need anything too crazy. We'll take another stack of concrete blocks. Oh, right, I had to fill Sherry's inventory with the explosives. Speaking of which, where are my pipe bombs? I should craft more. Where is my gunpowder? In the pew pew box. 3,000 gunpowder. What else? Pipes, I believe. We'll take out a stack. And the rest was something unusual. Plant fibers, right? Is that it? Is that all we need for pipe bombs? Pipe. I can make 250 with this amount of gunpowder. And, honestly, I might. We'll just do 200 for now. Sure, works for me. Vehicle supercharger. Do I already have one of those in my gyrocopter? I believe I do. Yeah, so this is for the motorcycle. I really am too easily distracted. Okay, put all this crap back, including the gunpowder. Now we take out our explosive bolts and the crossbow. For the time being, it can take the place of the impact driver since I won't be using it. Surely, take all but two stacks of the explosive bolts. Those are mine. And we'll check the vending machine. Mega Crush? Mm -hmm. Don't mind if I do. A little more learning elixir. Have a little snack, have a couple drinks, and then get on to the build. That should do. Now then, building time. Chicken, why aren't you running? Damn thing. These animals have been getting real cocky recently. Anyways, I have a handful of things to upgrade here. Mostly this layer to steel. I'll be doing it with the layer above as well. Change my mind to make it as thick as possible. Also, before I do this, I guess I do get a lot of XP, so get a learning elixir going. See if we can't pull together a full level from this little endeavor. Now, I've never tested this kind of base before, so it's going to be a first time for everybody. But the general theory is that I'm just going to be making a ladder. Right there. Well, a pillar going up with a ladder on it. Then surround the ladder in blocks so that the zombies can't just surround me on top of the ladder. And so they can't spit at me while I'm on it either. I don't know if any of you have tested it before, but if you have, I'll make a little example here. Actually, how high can I go? This should be fine, right? Look at this height. Almost as high as the church. Almost. We're higher than her royal girthiness by a block or three. And we can, in fact, survive a fall like this with no damage. Usually, if you get close to the point where your character can take damage, they'll at least grunt or something. But the plan is to have something like that, and then we will have ladders going up. I don't know if any of you have tested it before or seen it happen, but if you are on a ladder and there's blocks on the sides of you, keeping these zombies from pushing you up off of the ladder, 
they'll simply keep pushing you up like they're unclogging a pipe and you're basically just food inside the sink. They're a plumber. <laughs> and you're the mess being cleaned out. But if I surround this ladder in more blocks, say, hold on, let me, I'm going to be setting up another row over this way. But just to show an example real quick, we'll do this one side. Now yeah, we'll do both sides. Screw it. You can reinforce it later. I'll be doing that and then so that I can shoot down and the zombies will have a hard time shooting in. We'll be surrounding the ladder <laughs> with more ladders like so. Now, if I am inside here, well, we're going to be having ladders on the front end as well. Hold on. Let me, let me try to place one. It's a little awkward. Like this. So if I have it set up like this, where there's ladders on all ends, so the only way I can go is up. The zombies can't push me out to the left, to the right. They can't push me off. So if I'm sitting here like this, they will push me up this ladder. What in the world? Can I really hear the turret shooting zombies from all the way over here? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm going to do this all the way up. And then once they get me to the top, the plan is to make a nice little platform that I jump up as a precaution. And then I'm just going to fall to the ground. <laughs> hope for the best, I suppose. Actually, I think the safest way... Hmm, this is going to get very interesting as we move along. I have plans. I, I really am just thinking about this as I move along. All I wanted to do was make a horde base that strictly goes up. And so far, I am not disappointed, although it does look a little phallic. <laughs> Unintentionally. Uh, hey, reality is oftentimes disappointing. Right up to here should be fine with steel. I don't know why we would need any more than this. The rest of it can be left alone. Hmm. Actually, you know what I could do is make a platform to fall down on so I don't just fall into a giant mess of zombies. So I would go up, and then, when it's all done, I would back off this way and get myself onto a platform, which I can then look around at the ground and see if there's zombies around. If there are none, I can go to a safe place or potentially lure them over this way, whatever I choose to do, and then go back up the ladder when they're all cleared out. I don't know. I just know I'm going to need more than just heroic girthiness. So what, one, two, three, four? We'll do one more layer. Sure, that works. We'll leave that there. And now we just make these ladders go all the way up, which might take a little bit, but that's fine. Hmm. It should be fine just being cement from here onward. But these parts, somewhere around like five or seven, I think seven blocks high, should be fine to resist demolisher explosions. They can only hurt blocks with their explosions from so far away. I believe seven blocks is the limit. I might be wrong. I guess we'll find out as we go. Or if we're very lucky, we'll never find out. Hmm, this might be faster if I just do the jumping place method. Yeah, it seems like it will be. Just have to line my mouse up properly. <laughs> hmm, does this seem too high? Oh, I don't want to end the series because I'm curious. I should count the blocks. I come down here and then check the ladder. I'll have to count the amount of blocks I'm going up. Starting with two, I believe. It was 23 blocks that I can fall. So here's two, three, seven. Oh, this is nowhere near as high as I thought it was. Nowhere near. We're, we're like 13 blocks up. 14, 15, 17. Robot, robot, you are in my way. There we go. Okay, so this should be about 20 blocks. Oh, this is uncomfortable. We're about to see what happens. Wish me luck. Oh, no damage. But I might need a change of pants. This is far higher than I thought it was going to be. And I'm pretty sure I can go even further. Even more so if I were to keep going up. And then, let me just jump here. It's uncomfortable. If I set up that platform to have hay, like hay bales. And hold on. What do those take the craft? It's just plant fibers, right? Hay bale, 10 apiece. Ooh. So these hay bales give you like an extra 40 blocks that you can fall or something like that. It's insane. I think they said that if you have maxed out parkour with the impact bracer mod, and then you add the hay bales, you can take somewhere around 80 blocks of fall. Not damage. You cannot be damaged by 80 blocks of falling. Height. <laughs> English. So I could make this much, much taller. For now, I think this is good. This is about 20 blocks high. And we're going to test it. And as soon as we're done, we will fall after seeing how well it does and then move to the back of the girthiness and get into our usual position via going over the roof and into the pit this should be very interesting very interesting so we have it like this and now i'm going to want to set up a little guardrail so i don't fall off to the wrong side the best way to do that would probably be via bars one here and here so i get pushed up this way set another bar right here then we got to get some on the side we have to finish up the rest of this ladder business the funny business believe me when i say this is one of the weirdest builds i've ever tried to do i don't know why but prior to this i thought that zombies just 
started destroying things if their only way to you was ladders. I was wrong. Thoroughly. All right, let's get the last portion of ladders. No, not right there. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can feel my soul leaving my body every time I misplace something like this. There we go. Back to the ladder placement. This may not be the only silly little horde base that I make for the Blaze of Glory. Because if this gets taken apart, I'm still going to try something else. Potentially something that involves digging down to bedrock. Maybe. Or at least down a bit. Doesn't have to be all the way to bedrock. Alright, now we get bars here and here and off to the side here. Let's get one below. Like this and this. Which means the only way to fall will be down this way. Unless they're so piled up that they just push me over this. In which case we've seen that we can take that fall damage anyway. Which is great. <laughs> this is very high up. And I think I could potentially double this. Also, I have oh shits drops, so I can make a version of this that's way, way higher. Extensively higher. But this should do for now. Go ahead and... F oh, oh god, that's uncomfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and reforce the foundation of this as much as we can, so that they can't just blow it out while I'm being pushed up the ladder, while they're clearing the drain, so to speak, of me. <laughs> I am the infection. So let's go ahead and take another learning elixir because we're going to be upgrading a handful of blocks here. Might as well make the most of what we have while we have it. And what we have is an insane amount of learning elixirs. And no steel. I see. I done goofed. I'm gonna have to go grab more. Which reminds me, I should probably check the forges. Yes, yes I should. Collect as much steel as possible and... Hmm. I think once I'm done here, I'm going to turn on the power of all the girthinesses generators and just get prepared. Better ready than daddy. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Let's go ahead and put the stone away. Yeah, let's check the forges and see how much steel those have. Hopefully, a lot. Have I been putting more in here as well? Or here? Yes, I have. Good. How are we looking? Oh, you're out of fuel. Hmm. That means I need more coal. I'll grab that real quick. Can't have those being non-functional. Coal. I'll take two stacks and spread it between all of them. Seems like a sensible idea, since they're so valuable. Oop, not there. In here. <laughs> Goofy. Let's go ahead and set more to be crafted while we're at it. Seems like each of them has produced about 300 steel and another 300 on the way. Seems to be what one full stack of iron produces. <laughs> I keep putting the coal in the smelting slot instead of the fuel slot. This is a nice, healthy amount of steel. I like it. There we go. I actually have way more than I thought. This... <laughs> Wowee. I have a lot of steel. They will bring most of this up into the base, where it belongs. Building stuff. All but roughly two stacks. Keep some for the Horde Knight, etc, etc. Hmm. Things are getting interesting out there, and all without me. Wait a second. Okay, this is the Magnum chest. I just accidentally put some 9mm in it. Not okay. Where are those pipe bombs coming along? Oh, I see. It's only going to be able to craft, what, roughly 120 or so at a time? It's not terrible. Keep what we have in our inventory as our Horde Knight resources. We shouldn't need much more than a two-stack batch of exploding crossbow bolts and, what was that, about 120 pipe bombs? That should be more than enough. At least I assume. Plus all of the ammo amongst all of our guns and, of course, our trusty ass. Go in through the door, door, door. I really should upgrade. Yeah, that's a nice batch of pipe bombs. I also have far more 9mm ammo than I thought. Let's go ahead and get all of the generators going for now. We are getting near the beginning of that wonderful time. Which means preparations are in order. Make sure all the switches are active and the generators are fueled. The only ones left are the ones on the bottom floor near the pit. This should be the end of it. Wait, no, actually, the way we want to power it would be... Oh, that's right, I still haven't made a way out after I power all these blade traps, have I? I just have to finagle. Fuel this, turn this on. Ugh, getting stuck in the doors. Just don't look directly at it. Why is this open? Stop that. Let's go ahead and step through here. I think I left these targeting me, which is <laughs> not the goal. Confusing that this starts out targeting self and allies before targeting zombies. It's like they wanted to kill you. Now everything is active, except for the core. Let's get all of these switches on. Oh no! I'd only heard a lot. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, those are all on. Now we check the generators. What's this about? Oh. <laughs> I see. I forgot about that. Refuel. You're already on. Refuel. Already on. And this thing. Speaking of which. Hey, these lead car... Wait, no. That first one's kind of damaged. 
Hmm, does it only damage them one at a time? That could be it. Okay, let's close this door and see if we can't jump. Yeah, I put a ladder there. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wait, where are these ones going? Hmm, did I never hook them up to anything? Is that what's going on? Oh, there's a whole switch that I need to get. Oh dear. I appear to have flubbed something a bit. Let's turn most of these off real quick, temporarily. And there is a switch on the inside here that is already active. What? Hold on. No, not that. The wiring tool. You. Why aren't you powering all of those? Off? On. Oh, it's because you yourself are not powered. I see. Bah. Which generator should be connected to it then? Which one's the lowest on power usage? Oh, this one. This one appears to exclusively be for the purpose of those traps. Wait, what are you connected to then? You're connected to this. Oh, never mind. It's because the switches are off. <laughs> Hmm, screw it. This switch can go to this switch. To, to this. Can it reach? Close the door. Back up a bit, maybe? Come on. Okay, you know what? Just screw it. Snip that. You to here. Oh, crap. It's later than I thought. Activate everything and get ready. Oh, ouch. Close that. Get out. Into the horde base. <laughs> ah. Take a med kit. And we're going to start over here inside this just to see how it works. And then we will run our way there to the base. <laughs> My lack of preparation is impressive. For whatever reason, my brain, and I've done this in previous Horde Nights, in this series as well, but my brain thought that 2300 was the starting time, not 22. Here we go. This should be interesting. Very interesting. It begins. This is not what I was planning. <laughs> I think I messed something up over there. Well, on the plus side, I move faster than them. They all seem to be coming from that direction. Up we go. Let's not deal with that. Making our way into the pit. Oh yeah, I can hear the pit really going to town. Let's go ahead and step in here. Oh, it pelted and infected. All right, let's let the Horde Knight actually begin now. <laughs> They keep pelting me in the face with their spit. Bunch of perverts. And we've ran through about 20 of the pipe bombs so far. Honestly, <laughs> these things are putting in serious work. Very serious work. I love how well this seems to operate in the beginning of the night, but as things progress and the demolishers start appearing, that's when things get a little suspicious. I can't remember if I made any real changes to the base between this night and the last night, other than the mental notes of understanding not to use explosives on the demolishers. I'd say that counts as a dramatic change. I'll be a little annoying as well. I might just let the traps handle them. Ugh, I keep accidentally doing these light throws at the pipe bombs like this. I'm just watching them fall down. Becoming obsolete. The zombies should never reach that far into the pit. We're lucky. If things go according to plan. Well, see, see all these zombies back here? Just, whoa, what the hell? I'm just shot. My mouse got directed down here. Do you have any zombies over here whose AI appears to just be deactivated? <laughs> what the hell is that about? They seem very confused. Bombs away! No, oh, very light bombs. Looks like I have to start aiming a little bit lower. Practically throwing my bombs into the dart trap pit over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it, buddy. You absolute sicko. Oh, at least take me on a date first. Okay. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, that hurt a lot. There's only about 80 of my health. <laughs> he took out the cobblestone over here. Absolutely rude. Yikes. Gotta equip more pipe bombs. <laughs> that, that almost ended me. Ooh. Can I upgrade these? I don't have any cobblestone to repair them, so no. It's just... <laughs> Ouch. I almost blended myself with my own base. I guess I should use a medkit. I wasn't expecting that. I forgot that they actually did quite a bit of block damage. 
That might have even been built up over the multiple nights, actually. That would make some sense. Let's jump across here. I think we have a better view from this angle. <laughs> you know that I think about it? The blade traps at this end of the pit have only served to damage me. It's never hit me zombies. Because I've fallen into them twice. Bombs away. And yeah, I love seeing it. I wonder when the demolishers are going to start appearing. I'm just going to litter that back end with a bunch of pipe bombs in preparation for when I see a demolisher. And then I'll throw one in and it'll <laughs> probably lag my computer out. But we'll see what happens. There was a fatal flaw in my tower over there. I can't even see it. Right over there. And that flaw consisted of the fact that I forgot the zombies can climb the ladders from both sides. <laughs> a very, a very uh, low IQ play on my end. <laughs> but, but, but I can't. <laughs> uh, but I can't stop laughing at myself. I can't believe I forget something that trivial. Impressive, honestly. Man, those blade traps are going to town. Which hey, works for me. Suppose I'll just shoot from the distance over here, wait until the demolisher shows up, and then set off all them pipe bombs. You know, maybe now would be a good time to try and head down, get a more straight shot at them. Start really running through the 762 ammo. Instead of plowing through all of my explosives. Ooh, a level up. Hooray. I might use it to just max out my demolitions perk, whatever. Demolitions expert? Yeah, that's the name of it. Because, honestly, increasing the damage of pipe bombs sounds insanely valuable. At least to me it does, I think. Still waiting for a demolisher to show up, and so far it's nothing. No demolishers for me. Suppose I could run through this magnum ammo. Much like the 762, it only serves the purpose of being shot, as you can't put it in turrets. And now it can actually penetrate zombies, which is pretty nice. So if I shoot into crowds like this, it'll be doing much more damage per bullet. I heard some kind of grumbling. Oh no, that wasn't a demolisher, it was probably just a lumberjack. They have lumberjacks. Hooey, my freight rate. So they're starting to really stack up. I might have to set off all those pipe bombs. Yep, here we go. What about the crossbow? And get it done. And after I reload, now we do it. Oh. Did they despawn? I think they might. Yeah, they probably do. Eh, well, I'll just use these then. I have plenty of them. of silence. Those are rare, far and few between. Suppose we'll head back to the Magnum until they really start to stack up again. And stack up they are. Yeesh. Here we go. <laughs> I love watching the crowds go all at once. That's the effect of about five pipe bombs. <laughs> Killed enough enemies to give me almost a quarter of a level. Gosh golly gee, that's a lot of zombie. And loot bags. Good god, that's a lot of loot bags. I'm honestly not sure unloading this magnum into the crowds is doing anything. God, the numbers. Good god. Throw a couple pipe bombs. One of them just went off for no reason. Oh, they got whapped in the face with some spit. And now we blow up the pipe bombs. Boom. Nice. <laughs> There's a fat man crawling around down there. Let's put him out of his misery. Poor guy. He's still moving. Cut that out. <laughs> oh, don't spit at me. That's rude. A oh, very uncouth. Was that? I think I just saw a demolisher. I did. 
which means I have to be very cautious about explosives. And by cautious, I just mean I'm going to throw out more of them at once. I think around seven should do. Three, four, five, six, and set it off with a bang. Oh man, that was nice. So you can see that the button is flashing on his chest, but that's because it got set off at the moment he died, so it doesn't actually count. It won't explode, it'll just flash red. Three, four, we'll try five. Here we go. Oh god, again, again. Here we go. Ouch, ouch. Oh, it hurts, it hurts so bad. What have I done to myself? Yikes. Oh man. They're really stacking up over there. <laughs> That's pretty nice from this angle. You know, I suppose I could just spend the day here, considering I keep getting knocked off of my throne up there. Oh, damn spitters. Well, it's certainly not ideal getting pelted in the face by them, now is it? Six should do? No, yeah, well, I heard a single beep, but he didn't go. Pretty good. I like that. Oh, here's another one. I think five is the magic number. Five plus an explosive bolt. It certainly is. Oh god, there's so many of them. so many enemies that I don't know where to shoot. I just aim at anything that's being lit up blue. We definitely need more gunpowder. Oh. Almost set off a demolisher there. Go down, dead demolishers. Let's finish it off with a nice little boom. Like so. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Unholy mother of loot bags. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our way out of here. That was actually one of the smoother horde nights, if you ignore the fact that I, you know, fell into my own trap several times. But if we can look past that, then it was a pretty good night. Ow, are you, what, you, could you, wait a second. What? What? No. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening? This is... This is amazing. Honestly. What, what, <laughs> what is this? What is... What is the torso cop? Oh god, this, this is cursed. You gotta go, okay? I'm sorry. No, you just... You can't keep doing that. You can't can't do this. You have to get out of here, dude. That's not okay. There is an afterlife and it is calling your name. Although I can appreciate your dedication to the job. You know, let's just turn the generators off directly. It's easier this way. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do about that cop. My brain, my brain can't process it. It was kind of, it was beautiful, honestly. I need more things like that in my life. Anyways, let's go ahead and collect, let's go ahead and collect this loot before before the episode is over. What a truly ungodly amount of loot. It is <laughs> a little much, honestly. I think this is the only generator I didn't turn off? Yes, turn that off now. And that should be enough for now. This has been episode 98. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.